Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In this video I'd like to have a look at the Elliott Wave module into which we have here in the software and particularly I'd like to answer the question of why I use my unique what I call isolation approach to Elliott Waves and not the more traditional approach of making all the Elliott Wave patterns fit in with larger and lesser degrees which is the standard wave Elliott Wave taught. So I want to show you why I do my unique isolation approach and why I believe it's better than the standard way Elliott Waves taught. To start with let's have a look at this. Uh, this is actually a three minute chart of the NQ which is the the NASDAQ. Uh, to start with I'll just turn off the um, automatic trade setups just so we don't confuse things with the automatic analysis. I want just a bare chart and I want to just purely and simply look at edit wave patterns and uh, how we use uh, them in the software or how I use them in my isolation approach. To put them on the chart is really easy indeed. Uh, I normally leave it on intermediate degree. That's the degree of pivots that's connected by these connected lines here, these pivot lines. To do some analysis I'll simply then click choose swing high or low and then click on a prior pivot and here you can see that the software found a very nice <coughs> um, five way pattern one two three four five with the high unfolding pretty much uh, well within a whisker of the typical wave five WPT. Notice we have these targets on the charts these are the levels where the uh, markets are likely to end so not only do we find the pattern but we also find the price point where the, the various waves are most likely to end. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a look a little bit later in the chart. If I do choose swing high or low, <clears throat> we have another pattern down here, which is also a five wave pattern, one, two, three, four, five. This time the low ending right at the typical wave five WPT, that's this uh, uh, pink zone here. Now, most Elliott Wave uh, analysts will look at that and say, <clears throat> well, I've got a five wave advance followed by a five wave decline followed by a very sharp rally. Now, that breaks most of the Elliott Wave rules and therefore can't be, uh, can't be applied to the chart. However, why I develop my isolation approach is to allow traders, not analysts, this is a very important uh, um, differentiation, allow traders to enter the market with a small controlled risk and that is the key to the software and the key to trading is all I want to do with my Elliott Wave pattern is find an area where the market is likely to make a turn and therefore that allows me to enter with a small controlled risk. The rest is about trade management. To me it does not matter whether the Elliott Wave patterns as found break the rules because most um, Elliott Wave uh, analysts don't actually trade, therefore they're not really concerned about uh, risk and trade management, they're only concerned about projecting the future which doesn't really work anyway. So let's look at this from a trader's perspective with traders eyes on and let's uh, just show you how powerful this can be. So if we go back to the high and here we have the Elliott Wave pattern coming up for Wave 5 at the typical Wave 5 WPT Standard analysis shows stochastic divergence, which is good coming into the high. We also have a high volume VSA spike, which is another <coughs> technical indicator we use in MT Predictor. So it shows that the volume at this high is also indicating a reversal. Therefore, on this red cell bar here, we have the ability to take a trade uh, in the opposite direction. First target is the DP off the wave 4, which the market reached here. So now, and this is the important point, how good a trade would this be from the reversal here into the first target? I put the risk reward on, and at that first target, there would be a profit of 5.3R. In other words, a profit of 5 times greater than the initial risk. Remember, that's what's important about trading, big profits and small losses. So let's now move forward a bit later. <clears throat> let's put the analysis on now on the low of the day. And again, we don't really care whether this breaks the Elliott Wave rules. All we're interested in is coming in for a small controlled risk. Here's our low here. It's actually also on our high volume VSA spike uh, setup as well. It's also on stochastic divergence. So a couple of other things also coming in at this trade setup here. If we put our DP target on as our first target from the wave 4, you can see it reaches that. So even at the first target, let's put the analysis on. Even at the first target, 
which is here, we have another trade of 5R. So even though we break some of the Elliott wave rules by having a 5 wave pattern followed by another 5 wave pattern, it doesn't matter because as a trader, and that's the difference, because as a trader we're only interested in making profitable trades where we can get in with a small controlled risk. So the question being is, did the Elliott wave pattern at this high allow us to come in with a small controlled risk and make a profitable trade? Well yes it did, as we've already seen, plus 5R. Same question here, did this allow us to come in and enter a trade with a small controlled risk and make a profitable trade that was greater than our initial risk? The answer was yes, plus 5R. So here, from an Elliott Wave analyst point of view, they'd be very confused because it broke some of the rules. However, as a trader, we don't really care. As a trader, we had two low risk trade opportunities that made two very profitable trades, plus 5R and plus 5R would basically be plus 10R overall, which is a very, very, very profitable day. And actually, if we go back in hindsight and look at the whole of this day, you can see that the Wave 5 pattern, as found in MT Predictor, nailed the high of that corrective, uh, or that swing there. It then nailed the very low of the day before the, mo rally, uh, before the market rallied uh, strongly. <clears throat> We can also look at uh, indications of strength and uh, the, at this point, point in time there were other markets that were showing larger degree trends, um, and, uh, sorry, a larger degree uptrend. So what traders could have done on this um, second trade here was rather than come out at the first target, they could have chosen to ride this second trade up into what would have been the close for a plus 9.3R or if you've done the DP off the very high here, notice how that projected the next target out, which was here. So if we actually now project where the profit would have been at this target, can you see how the plus 5R here could have turned into plus 10R for the slightly more advanced trades among you. But that's actually talking about slightly more advanced trade management, which is what we come on to uh, once you get to know the MT Predictor software in a bit more detail. But all I wanted to show you in this particular video was at the very basic level, the Elliott Wave routine in MT Predictor uses my unique isolation approach. In other words, I look at the patterns in isolation and the reason for that is quite simple. The reason for using the patterns in isolation is to purely and simply obtain a low risk trade opportunity that allows you to get into a trade, just as we did here, with a low risk that then produces a profit that's, gra that's greater than the uh, initial risk, which it did here, and then <clears throat> exactly the same down here. Were we allowed to get into a trade that had a profit that was the greater than the initial risk? <clears throat> and again, the answer was yes. So this, I thought, was a very, very good example to show my unique isolation approach in action and to uh, explain to you the difference between my unique isolation approach and traditional standard Elliott Wave analysis and why I believe that my unique isolation approach is better because for traders, and that's the important point, for traders it does exactly what we're after and that is to allow us low risk trade opportunities that have small risks and high profits and that's exactly what traders should seek and that is why I designed my isolation approach to work in the way it does.